Welcome to Over a Cuppa. <laughs> um, this week's tea of the week is this. It's actually orange in colour and this is dandelion tea and it is very strange. It has a very sour aftertaste, indeed. It's, um... Do you know, I would drink it for medicinal purposes, but it's not something that I would... I think, probably like chamomile, it's very settling. And the tea itself is fantastic. But the aftertaste is very, very, very sour indeed. Makes you want to go, ah, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a sour taste that um, smells, that tastes like you would expect the uh, smell of dandelions to taste like. I know that sounds silly, but the dandelions are known when you snap them for producing white sort of milk. Um, and I suspect that is what is in there. And it's very, um, it's sour. Sour is the word for it. It's supposed to be, that is it's, sorry I've got an itchy eye, I don't know why. Um, it's supposed to be sour, it's not, a, it's not a mistake, but it's not a particularly pleasant tea to have, I have to admit. It's probably, it's probably my least favourite. It also, like, ah, uh, <laughs> blah. Like uh, nettle, it's one of those teas that smells like hay uh, and takes a very, very long time to, do you know, I, I, I don't really like that tea at all. Um, to be fair, I think I will throw the rest of that away. Um, ugh, look at that. It, it sort of clings. The other thing is that it clings to your teeth as well. It's, um... It's a very strange aftertaste. Do not recommend dandelion tea. You would think, actually, that dandelion wouldn't have uh, much of a taste. But that is one of the strongest aftertastes that I have um, tasted so far on, on this little sort of expose, really. It is like chamomile in its strength. So it's very strong. Um, but not very pleasant. In fact, so, so unpleasant. I think I might just have a little drink of this. This is tonic water. It's, it's the fizz of, like, uh, Coke and that sort of pop, but with no, well, with next to no calories in comparison. Mmm. Oh, that's better. <laughs> That's the, that's um, not a tea I like. Now, I uh, hope that I've lost weight this week, but I haven't checked yet. What I am trying to do is up my protein level. Uh, this is a, um, a little uh, breaded meat thing that I did yesterday. Um, the problem with protein is that it's rather expensive. Uh, it's um, generally found in things like meat and meat is very expensive particularly the high quality stuff uh, these aren't too get bad but of course you've got all the breadcrumbs you, it's surrounded by carbohydrate it's one of the things that I eat on a Friday specifically these I, this is left over from yesterday home. if I don't eat it now it's going to go off um, so I, I do try to get meat. I do try to. I true do try to include protein, but it's that's the hardest thing. That's what I have to do in the long run. I have to now think about nutritionally speaking. How am I going to include more protein in my diet? I have it in my um, main meals with my uh, with my microwave meals, but they're very small. Um, it's not a huge amount, and I could do with upping that somehow. So, I ought to think about that now. Anyway, that's it for this week. 